Hey, my friends, this is Stephanie Rittermont with Courageous Living. Have you ever been afraid? You know, at some point in our life, we've all been afraid. But I want to teach you in this video how you can lean into that fear, make it your ally, and learn how to do things and do it afraid. with you one of my favorite quotes on courage. It says, courage isn't the absence of fear. It is learning how to move forward in the presence of fear. For me, I see fear like I see stress. There's good stress and there's bad stress. But fear is the same way. There's good fear and bad fear. See, there's a fear that comes upon us because it's protecting us. Our brain says, alert, something's going on, something's wrong, because it, maybe it feels the anxiousness rising up inside of you, and so it's protecting you. And over time, that fear can become more of a bondage for us. It's almost like a bully because it won't let us move forward. It keeps us stuck. It keeps us in our comfort zone instead of getting out of our comfort zone. I like what Tim Ferriss said in one of his TED Talks. He said, fear is your friend. You see, there are times when fear is an indicator of what not to do, but in most cases, it's an indicator of what you should do. You should move forward, you should make those choices. But you know, we have to learn to also do it afraid because sometimes even though we know we should move forward, we're afraid to because we're not sure what the outcome's gonna be. So that's where we have to learn to do it afraid. So if I move it in the direction of the very thing that scares you, it really, over time, you build up, it's like when you take an antibiotic and you build up your immune system. And so what you're doing is that the more that you do this and you practice it and you have success at it, you're not gonna be so hesitant to step out the next time fear rises up. You're gonna do it afraid and you're gonna know that no matter what, whether I fail or succeed, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep pressing forward and getting past this fear. My friend, if we don't do that, we can miss out on so much. You miss out on you growing as a person. You might miss out on opportunities to mend relationships. You might miss opportunities to get past that procrastination. You can miss so many things by not moving in the direction of what scares you. One of the things that I like to do for myself personally, and I also share with my clients, is to look in the past. Now, normally we say, don't look in the rearview mirror. But when you wanna see how far you've come, when you're facing a situation today and maybe you're not sure, you're, you have to do it afraid but you don't know what to do, look at the past. Look at how far you've come. Look at the people that have brought you this far. Look at the successes and the failures and the mistakes that brought you to where you are today. You see, I don't believe that life takes us to this place in, our, in this point in time to just let it all fall apart. So look at the past. Look at your track record and realize how far you've come. And so now you have the courage to do it afraid. There's a real simple exercise that you can do, my friend, to help you do it afraid and to help you um, move in the direction of the thing that scares you the most. And, and I would say just have a few columns on a piece of paper. And in the first column, write down what is it that you're afraid of? What is it that's holding you back? And then the next column, identify it. Say, what's the backstory to it? Maybe something happened in your past and now it's imprinted on you. And so whenever that situation or what looks to be very similar rises up, you know, your body starts to respond in that fear and hold back. And so in the next column, identify what's the backstory. And then give it a score in the next column from zero to 10, 10 being high, very fearful. This is what I want you to do after that, is in another column, put a five there and say, if I could get this fear or whatever I'm feeling right now that's holding me back to a five, in the next column say, what does that look like and what does that feel like? And then have another column where you have a one and take that same situation and say, what if I get that number now down to a one? And then write down, what does that look like? What does that feel like? You might write down, you know what? I don't have the anxiety anymore. I don't worry about making a decision like this anymore. And so the more that you can get that number down, you're gonna find yourself getting victory over that fear. So until next time, my friend, continue to be kind, continue to live that courageous life, and remember, do it afraid. Hey, my friends, I hope you found this video encouraging and helpful for everyday life. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms.